Hey, how are hey, you? Hey, I'm amazing. How are you? I'm all right. So I'm about to drink this drink, Sprite Limelight with Casper's face on yeah. it. Um, how do you fit in? I am the marketing director for Coca-Cola South Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's how I fit into the picture. Mm -hmm. um, I worked with a beautiful and amazing team that brought this to life, mm -hmm. both from a global perspective as well as in South Africa. That's it. Yeah. And it's season two of Sprite Limelight. Yes, it is. So what is Sprite Limelight? Sprite Limelight is basically um, a conceptualization from the brand platform. Yeah. And essentially what we're trying to do is showcase the stories behind the artists. Mm. They come up, their stories, mm. um, you know, those moments of heat that yes. they go through that not a lot of people are actually conscious of or aware of. Mm -hmm. We're bringing that to life. Mm -hmm. And we're leveraging the beautiful and universal language of music yes. to actually do that. Is it? And when you saw so speaking of heat, actually, so I need to make sure that I get it correct. Yeah. What is heat happens? What does that mean? Heat happens is our brand platform. Mm -hmm. And um, essentially where it comes from is Sprite is about your story, your life, where you come from, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and how we bring the two together is heat talks about those key moments when you're struggling, mm -hmm. when you're on your come up, mm -hmm. when you're tapping into your different passions, but mm -hmm. you're just not really breaking through. Mm -hmm. In those moments of heat, you kind of need a moment to kind of cool down, refresh, mm -hmm. regroup, and then keep it moving. Mm -hmm. So that's how Heat Happens actually came about. Is it? And how did you decide for season two on Casper? I mean, why not Casper, Absolutely. right? I um, agree with you, but I was just <laughs> thinking, what's the thought process? Yeah. I mean, he is a stunning performer, he's a stunning entertainer, yeah. a musician. Yeah. For you guys on your side, what were you thinking? From our side, it's like obvious, yeah. but from you guys as a brand? From our side as a brand, the first thing is about the authentic partnership, right? Mm -hmm. Bringing together the key values of the artist and of the brand and making sure that it lives in a world where consumers actually say, to your point, yes. this makes sense. Mm -hmm. With Casper, he's a trailblazer. Yeah. He kind of walks his own path and beats his own trail. Mm -hmm. That's what Sprite does, mm -hmm. right? So when you put the two brands together, the marriage actually makes sense. Casper mm -hmm. um, is a hip hop artist, mm -hmm. but he's so diverse. He's yeah. so flexible, right? Mm -hmm. He goes into the Yano space. Mm -hmm. He goes mm -hmm. into the Guaito space. Yes. That's what Sprite does. It's also a flexible brand that really wants to tap into the person's passion points mm -hmm. and not what the world says that the person should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And speaking of heat happens for you, is there a moment that you've had that's like that? I've had plenty mm -hmm. moments of heat. Um, I think, you know, one of the things that we never really talk about is when you have to own your own space yeah. and you have to really claim the position and the platform that you're in. Mm. I'm a marketing director in yes, South Africa. Yes. Um, traditionally, what you see as a marketing director, I don't really fit the mold, True. right? Mm -hmm. So stepping mm -hmm. into that position, mm -hmm. you also have, I also have my moments of heat where I have to fight against um, the moments when you feel like it's imposter syndrome. Yeah. The moments when you feel like, oh, the people that were my role models, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. the people that I used to look up to are the people that I sit around the boardroom with. Yes. So those are my moments of heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you saw the video, when the song came out, yeah. I saw the video, I liked the hit session. What was first, what was your immediate response to it, to the video and to the song itself? I think for me, it's more about the story behind the song. Mm -hmm and about how he struggled and his come up. Yes. Right? Um, and that's a story that not a lot of people actually tell. Mm -hmm. We always want to see the glitz and the yes. glamour. We yes. never really yes. want to see that moment when you're sitting behind your laptop at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. That moment when you're on a taxi, mm -hmm. going from where you come from to it's a place that's Rand, completely foreign, yes, right? Yes, yes. Nobody talks about those stories. Mm -hmm. We just see fill up. Yeah. We see, um, you know, the, the tour with uh, Nasty C. Mm -hmm. We want to see the story and we want to tell the story to show everybody else who sees Casper as a role model, mm -hmm. how he came up and like how he actually really struggled to get to where he is. Mm -hmm. But now we need to celebrate the space that he's in. Mm -hmm. And your partnership with Universal. Tell me about that. Is it globally? Is it locally? What's that partnership? And how, how does it translate into uh, limelight yeah um so as a brand we've had a relationship with music i mean from remember the drake ad oh yes right oh, um, oh wow 
background here, way yeah. back uh -huh. when, we've uh -huh. always had uh -huh. music as a soundtrack and a base of mm. where Sprite is about. So it was a natural progression into partnering with Universal. Firstly, it's about finding the right critical talent within Africa, because mm -hmm. we are the trendsetters for the world. Yes. Everybody's looking to True. us. Afrobeats, mm -hmm. Amapiano, mm -hmm. hip hop. Yes. They're all coming to us. Mm -hmm. So what better way to actually just take our own into the world um, instead of leveraging Universal. Is it? Yeah. If you could name three of your favorite African songs, what would that, those be? And African what, songs. what's your take on African music currently? So right now I'm a lover of Ama Piano. I'm uh -huh. celebrating it mm -hmm. through and through. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite, favorite artist, he even knows this, mm -hmm. is um, Gabzada Small. Mm -hmm. I think he's passionate, I think he's talented. Mm -hmm. Um, I've recently fallen in love with Kel Kelvin Momo. Oh yes, I mean they call it um, Model C. I'm yeah, a yes. yeah, yeah, completely. Uh -huh. So it's like such a beautiful transition um, of what, if you listen to the heart and soul of Ama Piano, the bass is house, mm. right? Mm. So I'm a huge lover of house. Yes. Um, you know, from, I can't actually remember a lot of the songs. I can sing them, but I don't uh -huh. know if I should do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, they all come, if you listen to uh, the first couple of beats of mm. Gabsa's songs, it's yes. inspired by like Latin, mm. Latin sounds and that's, that's always been my vibe. Yeah. She, she really listen uh -huh. to it. Uh -huh. So this morning I was actually banging to Eningi. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I love that song. Such a beautiful song. But like it's, song. It's, it's, it's towards the end that there's that part where it just the goes. Yeah. So oh, beautiful, such a beautiful but also song. the message itself though, we Completely. all want a lot of money. Completely. But we have to uh, work for it, right? Mm, mm, we have to mm, work for it mm. and that's the story behind it. Um, Nana Tula is my favorite yes, right yeah. now. Uh -huh. So that Gonka like mixtape, yes, yes. loving it. Um, and the last album I Kelvin Momo, mm. can't remember what the title is. And I don't want to pronounce that one song because I will mispronounce mm -hmm. it. But it's a green cover, beautiful beat. Um, and my heart and soul always loves with hip hop. Mm. So I always listen to old school hip hop. Yes, I same. love, um, I will always love Tupac. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I will I think always that's love everybody. Tupac. Uh -huh. And then Black Star, mm. Talib Kweli. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my vibe. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's my music. So Sprite Limelight is a campaign, right? It's global. It's global. Yes. Um, when did it start? Did it, did it also start at the same time in South Africa? or? And second of all, in South Africa, outside of the campaign with Casper, how are you bringing it to life? So Sprite Limelight started last year. Mm -hmm. um, we had Omale, mm -hmm. who represented Africa mm -hmm. in our first edition. Love that. Um, really beautiful, bringing the African beats mm -hmm. together, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're the ones that are actually taking music to the world, what better way to actually transition yes, into yes. South Africa, moving into the Ama Piano hip hop space with Casper? So that's the second element of um, our Sprite Limelight. The way we are amplifying it globally, we've got, we house our music on um, our YouTube page as yes. well as our Instagram, the socials basically. Which is the Sprite Limelight page. The Sprite Limelight page. Got you. Because mm -hmm. the strategy behind what we're doing is we are targeting a consumer that is a digital native. They consume everything through their phones, yes. through their laptops. Mm -hmm. The best way to communicate to them and to get through to them mm -hmm. is through their phone. Yes. Um, so everything we're concentrating our marketing efforts on is to speak directly to this audience, to remind them of the come up stories and that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. So the one word or phrase that would describe how you, you feel about the campaign, seeing it from the start and how it's rolled out. What's, what's that word or that phrase for you? Refreshingly groundbreaking. It is. Yeah. Cool, cool. It links back to the intrinsics of a brand, mm -hmm. but also links back to what we're trying to do with our brand in terms of connecting with our yeah. audience. Yes. Yeah. Cool, cool. Thank you, Ramo. Thank you. This is so good. So I amazing. didn't get you to sing, though, so oh, hey. I kind of tried. I kind of tried. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy.